he was stabbed to death by three skinheads in the British movement. And one of them went to my school, and he was 13 years of age. And when he went to, that, when he went to court and was charged with murder that day, he was asked, why did he do it? And he said, because it's good fun to kill packies on a Thursday night. And that night, that night, our school, and this kid went to my school, we made a collection for a wreath for his family, and we put it on the spot where he died. And that night, the National Front and the people in the British National Party today went to that spot and burned every single wreath that was there. These people are scum of the earth. They are murdering fascist bastards and we have to stop them. And I always vowed after that, I always vowed after that, that I would do everything I can to stop the BMP and these fascists. And that's what I do today. And you're going to be asked lots of questions as what, what has music got to do with anti-fascism and anti-racism? And my answer is simple. Everything. Absolutely everything. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because in the 1930s, Woody Guthrie, the greatest folk musician ever, played with the guitar. And on that guitar, he had the words, This machine kills fascists. And in 1977, I went to Victoria Park, where we organised rock against racism, and the band there was The Clash, and they said, the national fun is no fun. In 1993, I put on a gig at Victoria Park, and one in Brockwell Park, and the Manic Street Preachers played, and they said, fuck the Nazi BMP. Last thing, I want you to do three things for me. One, make sure on next Thursday you vote and you vote to keep the BNP out of every single town and city in this country. And if you're too young to vote, get your brothers, your sisters, your lovers, your mothers, your fathers, your grandparents to make sure they don't vote BNP. And last but not least, we need direct action against the BNP, so join the demonstration in October the 22nd against fascism and racism in London. And the last thing, the last thing, remember Blair Peach, he was my comrade, he was killed in 1979 by the SPG, remember Blair. Thank you for being so patient. We have one more group of speakers to come up, and this is an organisation very close to my own heart. This is the first time they've ever been into London. It's the first time they've ever been here. Um, it's something I really hope all of you can listen to, and please give them some time. The Sophie Lancaster Foundation. She was as alternative, she had piercing, she was what's called a mosha. Since her death, we've been working towards a lasting legacy for Sophie, but we've also been trying to change the hate crime legislation to include people from alternative subcultures, whether that's emos, punks, goths, moshers, skaters, whatever. 